Hey, how's everybody doing today? We've got a new video. This one is a little bit different. We're going to be looking at some 180 degree photographs that were taken as panoramics in the 1800s and also the early 1900s. So with this video, you can actually look around with your smartphone or on your desktop computer. What I did was I created into a 180 degree video. I did colorize all of these and they look pretty amazing, especially since they were taken in the 1800s, which is amazing. So I'm just gonna be narrating some of these photographs so you kind of get a better idea of what is going on here. So this was Nashville, Tennessee, taken from Fort Negley, looking northeast, in 1864 by George Bernard. And this next photograph was also taken by George Bernard. It's a view from the top of Lookout Mountain in Tennessee, February 1864. So there's a little bit more information here. It says it was uh, a lot of these photographs are actually taken by George Bernard, the earliest panoramas for the Union Army during the Civil War. The military engineers and generals valued his panoramic overviews of terrain and fortifications. I'll actually have a link down below. This is from the Library of Congress. So you can see the original photos as well. This next photograph is a view of Madison, Indiana in 1866, I guess by Gorgas and Mulvey. And a little bit more breakdown here, Gorgas and Mulvey exposed four plates when shooting this panorama of Madison, Indiana. The separately mounted prints made from the four plates are visible in the finished panorama. The perspective is similar to that of another popular bird's eye view techniques known as panoramic maps. And this next photograph was taken in the Redlands, California in 1908 by the California Panorama Company using a gelatin silver print. And it looks like in the late 19th century, cameras were manufactured specifically for producing panoramas. Uh, these cameras were either swing lens cameras where the lens rotated while the film remained stationary or 360 degree rotation cameras where both the camera and the film rotated. This next photograph is actually pretty cool. I love how they have this whole thing set up. So these are the Pan American Flyers and Ships, uh, circa 1927, taken by E.O. Goldbeck. And there's a little bit more information here. It says, uh, so this uh, particular photo was taken by a Kirkett camera and it was patented in 1904. It's used for large format film, ranging from a width from five inches to 16 inches and was capable of producing 360 degree photographs, measuring up to 20 feet long. This next photograph is also pretty interesting. I, I love how this is captured. So this was taken in Davenport, Indiana on 2nd and Harris Street in 1907 by F.J. Banholtz on gelatin silver print. Uh, it's kind of crazy that you're able to capture these really wide photographs. It almost it's like practically almost a 360 degree capture here. So the next photograph isn't as special or interesting as the other ones but although the coloring of this actually seemed like it worked really well so i was pretty happy with the results on that but just a little bit more information on this photograph itself because it was listed on the same website i got these other panoramas on this was taken in beanfield in 1967 so that pretty much concludes this video. Hope you thought it was kind of interesting. I want to try something new. Somebody actually left a comment and thought it would be kind of interesting to build a world or uh, kind of go back in time and make it like a VR sort of experience. And that kind of thought, let me go back and see if there are any 180 degree panoramas or 360 degree images i couldn't find 360 maybe they're out there maybe somebody knows so you can link it to me that would be awesome maybe if you find some more panoramas that actually do a 180 uh capture that would also be awesome if you could send me those and i could maybe do more of this if this is something you're into the coloring i think came out pretty good on um most of these this one is, this one in particular came out really well I thought I'd also mention that I do have a Patreon page. I do have three Patrons on there, so thank you if you are a Patreon. Um, it would help a lot if you would support me on there, maybe produce some more content, help me produce more content, and uh, all that good stuff. I think you kind of understand what kind of work goes into creating these videos. But either way, they're fun to create, so no matter what, uh, still be creating these things. Anyway, thanks for stopping by, checking out the video, and I'll check you out in the next one.